Hey there, this is Ross Goldberg and I'm going to talk to you about setting up a blog for affiliate marketing. This is actually a sequel to my original video that has 86,000 views as of this morning. So I've got a lot of information to go over. That video was three years old and I've learned a ton and want to give you the best possible information. So let's dive right in. Step one, your plan. Choose your market. You've got to understand the market where you want to be an affiliate, where you want to sell stuff. So pick that out first. Then you're going to want to choose your product. Now the product that you sell is obviously going to relate to the person that you want to sell to. You can get products from all kinds of different affiliate networks. Clickbank.com, Pay.com, CJ.com, Linkshare, ShareASale. There are affiliate networks all over the internet. There are even privately hosted affiliate programs. So choose your product based upon the client you want to sell to and the knowledge that you have and check the competition out do some actual research as to what they're doing look on social networks see which people are actually talking about the kind of products you're going to sell find questions that your prospects have so you can answer them in the content you create to market these products you're going to sell do your research set up your key wheel and the, let me explain it to you like this you're gonna find the main keyword term and don't worry too much about competition because you're not gonna gun for that right out the gate pick a pie in the sky keyword, keyword term it could be very competitive and that's okay you can do this by using Google's free keyword tool and putting in the most basic keyword terms what you're looking for is a term that's basically you're looking for the green bar you'll understand this once you do it Go to Google's keyword tool, search your most basic keyword term, and then look at the competition level setup that they indicate through their green bar. This is pay-per-click competition, but I found in my experience that SEO is normally dead on exactly the same as the competition level for the pay-per-click. What you're looking for is the green bar that's half full to almost full, not completely full. When you find that, go to Word Trackers free keyword tool and put the term that you chose there. Pick some much less competitive terms that contain that main keyword. What you're going to do is through building links using those keywords, you're going to increase the ranking for the pie in the sky keyword term as well. What you do is when you link to your new blog, you're going to use all of those terms. Pick roughly five of the secondary terms and use all six your main term and the five secondary terms to link to your blog posts. The two tier strategy. Now we've already looked at one tier. The second tier is going to be the name of the product. There are things you can do to make this very easy. One would be to use the name of the product in the actual domain name. The other is to use it heavily in the marketing and the linking that you do not only inside your blog but when linking to it. So. The, these are some SEO tricks and, and strategies you need to consider and think about when setting your blog up for affiliate marketing. Install and set up your blog. Most hosting companies give you something called Fantastico. It's a one-click, very easy script installer. If you don't have a hosting plan that has Fantastico, I recommend looking into HostGator. When you get into Fantastico, what you're looking for is WordPress, which, as you can see, is pretty close to the top there. Roughly five down is WordPress, so click there next. Then you're going to tell Fantastico where to install your blog and what settings to set up. This is very simple. Go through it, just fill in the blanks, and install your blog. Once your blog is installed, I strongly recommend the Socrates theme. It is paid, it's not free. However, I use it on every blog that I have. They have social media functions. It's very easy to advertise on the blog. Built-in ClickBank feeds. Built-in AdSense capabilities, which I honestly don't recommend using, especially if you're setting up an affiliate blog. So if you want to get Socrates, you can get it at mustclickhere.com forward slash theme. Plugins. There are thousands of plugins you could use. I 
strongly recommend getting the all-in-one SEO pack. And when you do, when you set it up, it actually comes set up with the post title the way that it appears here. You need that. You have to have the title of each post set up that way for SEO purposes. Again, all-in-one SEO is set up to give you strong SEO positioning out of the gate. So just make sure it's set up this way and you're good to go. This is what Socrates looks like. This is one of their very basic setups. I have not used a custom header on this blog. You can see that there's a banner. That space is there out of the gate. And then on the right side, I have graphics pointing to different products. What you see there is my book. So that just uses a text module where I put image codes in there so you can click and go to products that I want people to buy. It's very, 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 very simple to set up. The text module, all you do is put an HTML code. Now, your strategy. Are you marketing to a niche or for a specific product? For a product, all you want to link to is that one individual product on your blog. To market to a niche, choose complementary products and market in each post individually for products that solve the problems that you're talking about. Set your standard, best converting products, up in your sidebar and other ad locations. If you don't have banners available from the affiliate program owner, go to logonerds.com. They're inexpensive and they create great stuff. Get traffic to your blog. Now WordPress will automatically ping your blog to blog directories and aggregators. I actually just updated my ping list because I saw that my pinging wasn't going out as it was supposed to. Do a Google search for best ping list. Grab it, copy it in. What I use is Smart Update Pinger. It's a plugin and it's free. Every blog gives you an RSS feed. Submit your RSS feed to RSS directories for instant backlinks whenever you post to your blog. Every time you post, normally within an hour, these RSS directories will give you a new link to your new post. What this does is it gets you more links and it helps you get your blog posts indexed much faster. Social bookmark your posts. Socialposter.com is a semi-automated website that has a list of do-follow social bookmarking sites that help automate the process of social bookmarking your posts. Now the significance of do follow means that those links don't have a no follow attribute on them which the no follow attribute tells Google hey don't give them any credit for this link. Comment on high traffic blogs in your market. Now don't be a spammer. Respond with relevant ideas and add to the conversation and always be sure to go back and converse with people that respond to what you comment on these high traffic blogs. Record videos about the product and what it does for those that use it. Include a link to your site or the affiliate link as the first thing you post in the description and call them to act at the end of your video. I'm using Keynote and ScreenFlow on my Mac, but you can use Camtasia and PowerPoint on a PC. Take your blog posts and repurpose them for article directories. Be sure to edit them as much as possible to have them appear unique in the eyes of Google. The easiest way to do this is to spin your content. And I actually have a content spinner software that I give away for free. You can get it at spinningwizard.com. With spun articles, you can use them all over the web. And what I want you to do is set up what I call a blog syndicate using social media properties. This is a simple process map that shows it. You start with your core blog, then set up your properties, wetpaint.com, blogger, squidoo, hub pages, blogettery, wordpress.com. I put those here because I found that those perform the best. Then you take your RSS feed and put it into the different Web 2.0 properties. You want to do this for your core blog, to your WordPress, WordPress to blogettery, and so on. You can see how this looks. Then social bookmark your different posts. Last but not least, articles. Post them out to article directories and link back to these different sites. And by spinning your articles, you can literally just put the different link and spin one out for the next one. If you need to get articles written, 
You can do that in so many different locations on the internet. But my favorite new site to get things done is Fiverr.com. F-I-V-E-R-R.com. So here are some resources you can use. The Web Traffic Book goes over the traffic strategies that I've discussed with you in much greater detail. I wrote it. It's killer, and you'll like it. TrafficMagnetStrategy.com is my automation software, which will help you get these things done much faster. And then, of course, you can find out more about what I'm up to and what trouble I'm causing at Ross-Goldberg.com. Thanks for watching the video, and good luck setting up your affiliate marketing blog.